How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little knee pad review. I've been wearing pro knees, for, golly, probably about three years now. And um, it was affecting me just a little bit. I'll talk about that in just a second. So I decided to try something else. The next, uh, probably the next best thing that they have on the market, uh, as far as everybody's concerned, is it's the Trax knee pads. They got, they're nice and long. They go down your shin and stuff like that. So let's talk about them for a second, and I'll tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them. Okay. So this is what I've been wearing, golly, probably about eight months, maybe nine months or something like that. Really, uh, these are Velcroed in. So you, again, like the Pro Knees, you can replace these and stuff like that. It's got a uh, stretchy elastic, nice and wide. So it's not pulling, let me just put these on so you can see. So it's not pulling my uh, pinching me or anything like that. They go on just like so. A lot of people don't like the Velcro, but I've got some good news for you here in just a second. So that's how they fit. Right? Up, up here and just a few inches from your ankle, just like the Pro Knees. They actually go all the way down, but these are almost as long. You see uh, here, 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 all the touch points. You definitely see them. So they all make contact for sure. And it basically does the same thing that the Pro Knees do. So uh, the benefit about these, now this is not freak you guys out, um, but the reason why I like these better, better than the pronies, they are super lightweight. I wish I had some scales here, I would actually weigh them. These are super, super lightweight. They're all made out of foam. Every bit of it is made out of foam. These, you, if you can hear that, listen, listen to this. So it's a little bit harder foam. The black is on the front, but this, everything is foam. All of this down here is a really nice rubbery foam. Now this is really soft here. You might think, see the uh, purple bed mattresses or purple mattresses or whatever like that. Uh, these pads right here are made like that. It's like they're have, have little ridges or something now. I, uh, I wonder if I could open it up. I don't think so. But anyway, those are super nice. You can tell by feeling that they have kind of like that waviness, like the purple mattress in them. They do also sell these straps. They have the straps you can buy them separate if you don't like the Velcro. I've been wearing these for about eight or nine months, maybe even longer now. I like the Velcro, it's super easy to deal with. You can snug them up a little bit more if you need to. You can loosen them up a little bit more just by choo 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 choo. You're not having to adjust a buckle all the time. I do have buckle straps. They do make them these straps with buckles. That way they buckle like the Pro Knees. A lot of people like the buckles versus the Velcro. I'm a Velcro guy. I've not even tried the buckles yet. I will give them a try and let you guys know what I think about those, how they work out and stuff like that, but I I like the Velcro. Uh, anyway, one thing I did to these, I have a brand new pair here, I wanna show you the difference in the ones I actually wear and what I did to the ones I wear versus the brand new pair that has not been done. So, right here on this one right here, I'm gonna pull this back, can you see this lip right here? So when your shin comes down over that, I was feeling it. Other guys, I've not heard anybody else talk about it. I actually let a guy wear these when he was at my classes. He wore them for three days. He said he never felt that at all, but I felt it on mine. Again, it's just rubber. I'll show you in just a second. Or a uh, foam. On mine, I cut that off. You see where I cut that right there? I just shaved it right off. Now this is flat all the way out. I don't have anything to touch my shin right there at all. You can see by the cut of that, how it's just a, a foam or a rubber or whatever. Anyway, it's super, it's real nice. And it's, and it's been plenty durable. Again, these are about a year old and they are still in fantastic shape. I, I can't notice any wear on them anywhere. Honestly, this, portion where my knee goes still feels great 
uh, this part where my shin goes still feels great. Everything's still up to nothing's war at all. Uh, I can just by rubbing my finger over, I can feel a little dimple there and there. You can actually see the black spots too. Those are the main pressure points here. But what's cool, check this out. I just thought about this. So these are actually uh, raised up above the straps. So your straps never actually get touched on the floor, so they're not wearing out. I just thought about that whenever I, I was looking at this here. I was like, dang, it's kind of worn out there and my straps are not even touched. So that's a good thing about them. But yeah, I can feel just a little dimple there and there where I'm constantly on them with my knees. But I guess this is the magic magic question. Are they worth buying? Yeah, absolutely. I, I will probably be wearing these for a long time. The thing with the pro knees, um, again, they go all the way down and this might be my fault. Maybe I can get some feedback on this video right here. This may be my fault. Maybe I didn't measure correctly or something like that whenever I got them. I don't know, but nonetheless, they come all the way down and they touch right here at the top of my foot is where that bottom piece touches on my pronies. This bone, let me pull this down. This bone right there, see that? Can you see that little bone when I tense my foot up? So that bone right there where it goes down to my ankle, that was giving me a fit uh, just from that piece of knee pad constantly been on it. I mean, it got to where I could, I was limping and stuff like that after wearing my knee pads. It was like holding a, a pressure point on your bone whenever it would move like this and it was just absolutely giving me a fit. And that's what made me try something else that didn't go all the way down again. I may have got them too long, I don't know. That's the only pair I've ever bought and I had them for about three years. So it took that long for that to actually start affecting me. Um, the plus about these, super lightweight, nice and soft, they feel good. Um, I like the Velcro, I really like the Velcro. Again, a lot of guys don't, but they do have straps with buckles. Um, I don't know anything bad about them at all. I don't know a single thing a single drawback that I can say about these track knee pads at all. Um, have you heard me complain or say anything about these? I can't think of anything, Luke. He works with me every day. They're just great, all, all around great knee pads. Now, just like any other knee pads, sometimes you will have to, uh, whenever I put them on or something like that, I always do this, I pull my pant leg up, and then I put them on just like with any other knee pad so it's not pulling on my britches. And then after a little while, you might have to hold your britches, shift it up, pull the strap up. It will tend to slide down just a little bit. As you're walking around, any leg length knee pad is going to do that. So that's just common. It's not that it's out of the ordinary or other piece of junk that ride down. That's just what they do. Knee pads, period. That's just what they do. So, uh, it don't bug me. It don't bug me at all. The fact that they're super lightweight, I love them. And they're nice and long, again. So, sitting down on them, I mean, they feel, look how much it covers, they feel super good. So, yes, I would recommend them. Yes, I will be getting, well, I don't have to get another pair. I've already got another pair, but absolutely, I will be wearing these for a long time, okay? That's my review on the tracks. They are absolutely worth, I think they're about $160-something uh, in comparison to the Pro Knees. They're about $400, bucks, I think, now. I think, don't quote me on those prices. I haven't looked in a while on these or the Pro Knees. However, I will leave a link in the description to these and they also have short ones so i'll leave a link to both of the tracks knee pads in the link to this video if you want to check them out you can check the price and see if you like them thank you guys for tuning in to the channel until next time fbsb's out